Welcome back Wolfpack Rollers here and this is how to use Rotom Wash. So the washing machine Rotom is no different than all of the other Rotoms from a statistic point of view. That we have 107 in both defenses, 105 on the special attack, 86 on the speed, 65 on the attack, and 50 on the hit points. I mean Rotom is just such a good Pokemon with these stats, I cannot stress it enough. 107 on both defenses, even with the 50 hit points, while it might, see, might seem low, really balance each other out. That if you have used Rotom or you've gone up against a Rotom, just know this Pokemon's ignorance of damage. It just doesn't take much damage. And there are a lot of ways that it makes use of that. That it'll have leftovers, it'll have a citrus berry, god forbid it has a chest of resto if you can't deal with it. Just such a tanky Pokemon. And it also just has great stat distribution. Some Pokemon don't even have 90 or 100 in an offensive stat. Rotom just has 105 while being this tanky. So it puts out a moderate amount of damage while being super tanky, and with an 86 base speed, you don't even have to invest into its speed too much, and it's still going to outspeed a ton of tanky Pokemon. So that's where Rotom Wash really comes into play. It's just so sturdy. As a Pokemon stat-wise, it's really good. Also, Wash Rotom, it is the most used Rotom because of that electric water typing. It's just even better from there that we have a grass weakness. That's it, that unless you can like remove abilities with Mold Breaker or suppress it in some way, just a grass weakness. After that, we have the immunity to ground, so that would be a weakness, but electric with a levitate is amazing. And then we just have resistance to flying, steel, fire, water, and ice. And this is a great anti-meta Pokemon. The reason why it's most used is because it resists things so well. If you have a fairy type Pokemon on your team, use it because if it sees a steel type attack, you just bring in Rotom, and now Rotom resists that absurdly. Also, fire, ice, dragon type Pokemon are safe. Pokemon weak against Talonflame are safe. Rotom, with the washing machine form, just has an amazing, one of the best typings in the game, especially with that levitate ability, and it just becomes such a reliable tank because of it. That doesn't have to worry about anything. Grass, that's not that common. You have a Pokemon that resists grass on your team, like Mega Venusaur, and then you're good to go. So hopping into Pokemon Showdown, we're going to see a couple of sets for Rotom. So my idea is that you can run it with a lot of bulk. This is actually supposed to be a Rocky Helmet. So with the Rocky Helmet, it means you can run a more defensively driven Rotom. So right now we're going to take a look at the stats. I was thinking Bold Nature with a 156 investment, 100 special defense, and maxed out hit points. Now if you want to, you can just make Rotom a full defensive tank. This Rotom right here will rarely go down to anything physical just because it's so bulky and the Will-O-Wisp makes it even more of a thing. So if you pair this Pokemon with a special defense threat, you're just good to go. It doesn't matter. That if you have a huge special defense tank and a huge physical Rotom, your opponent's going to have a very hard time and you just use those Pokemon to keep your sweeper safe. If you have a Pokemon that's weak against Talonflame, Rotom's perfect for that. It's just, it just makes sense because you, you, both of your stabs are super effective against Talonflame and both of its stabs you resist. So we have the Rocky Helmet, which means other physical Pokemon are going to get hurt. This is why Rotom is really cool, because with that Hydro Pump, it hits physical Fire-type Pokemon. That's the most important thing right here, because with that Will-O-Wisp, normally Pokemon like Sableye, they can't stop those Fire-type threats. With this, Rotom can just hit them super effective, and if it's any other physical Pokemon, they get Will-O-Wisp. And if they try to attack, then they endure Rocky Helmet, they just finish them off with Thunderbolt or Hydro Pump. Now, Rotom doesn't have heavy amounts of sustain. That's mostly going to be a reliance on Pain Split, and it is doable that you just have to make some predictive play on it. Say your opponent's faster than you, throw out the Will-O-Wisp, you know, you take a hit, you take a hit, then you pain split on that second or maybe third turn, depending on how much health you're taking, and then you just get enough health back to finish them off with a Thunderbolt after that. So that could be enough of a combo right there. And even if you have a Wish Pokemon on your team, might be worth investing for the Rotom because, oh, you give Rotom half its health back. Great, that means we can go and do some more terrifying things. Also, you can run Chesto Resto on Rotom, because it just means your opponent has to knock out Rotom twice. So we don't have, like, Rocky Helmet. Can be better than Leftovers, depending on what you're running. And then you just kind of take out Pain Split, you put in Rest, and then you have the Chesto Resto. And that's really terrifying, because just frustration right there. It's like, oh man, I'm about to knock out Rotom. Okay, use Rest. Oh, that's a Chesto Berry. Oh, next turn, now I get blown up by Hydro Pump or Thunderbolt. Now, Rotom can also do a couple other things like run leftovers. It means in more of a stally kind of situation, you'll eventually gain a lot of health back. Pain Split plus leftovers starts to become some legitimate sustain, especially if you're Willow Wisping threats and you're trying to stay out of super effective hits or you're staying out of any kind of special attacks. And even then, Rotom endures special attacks all right because that special defense, pretty good base bulk right there. Just avoid Giga Drain and Energy Ball and stuff like that, and you'll be, you'll be absolutely fine. On that, Rotom can also run Volt Switch and just be a really cool pivot Pokemon that you kind of come in, you make them eat damage off of the Rocky Helmet, or you just kind of tank up a hit really well, you use Volt Switch to switch out, just kind of gain edge while taking less damage than you're dealing against your opponent. That's always an option on Rotom. I personally like to just use it as more of a stable Pokemon. I bring it in because I know I want it to clean up the threat, and then you just kind of play the games around that that are involved. 
As for VGC, Rotom Wash does great in double battles because it does handle a lot of threats. Will-O-Wisp, well, physical Pokemon, that's going to be tough on them. It's, it's a special attacker, so it doesn't have to worry about intimidate threats for itself. And you just slap on a Citrus Berry. Citrus Berry means that it gets four turns worth of leftovers in one turn. So since VGC and doubles in general is going to be a faster format, more damage is flying across the field in one turn than in a normal single battle, Citrus Berry getting all that health back in one go can be very devastating for your opponent, especially because like the leftovers take so long, Chesto Resto, that's a turn of vulnerability. Citrus Berry, there's nothing more frustrating than when you're trying to deal with the Rotoms, like, oh man, this guy's trying to will o me, Thunderbolt's threatening me right now, you go, you get some damage on it, and then you see the Citrus Berry. Then you realize, oh man, I don't get to two-hit KO this Rotom. Now it's a three-hit KO Rotom. Just watching it munch that berry, very, very frustrating, but that's why people run it, and it does give you a lot of really quick health, and then you run Protect. So you can do the pain split instead of protect as long as you get like the right plays going on. Protect, very solid strategy in doubles that there's a lot of play around that. So you can use protect, you know, if Rotom Wash protects, doesn't take damage, has hits flying its way, you can gain advantage off of that. That's just doubles in general. Pain split means if you were to survive that hit, you can still chip your opponent while getting health back. There's a lot of crazy interactions with Rotom. In doubles, you can run a full modest Rotom, so 252, 252, or you can just kind of split the defenses however you need, depending on what your team is weak against or whatever you're looking for. Naturally, you might want to put more special defense on any kind of Rotom, so a Calm Nature would be your option, and then you can just kind of put more special defense investment, because once you burn the opponent, they lose half of their attack from the burn, so now you only have to worry about special attacks. So that's something that you can do, and Rotom gets some other moves, so Trick. I personally think that Heat Rotom and Mo Rotom are better for like Scarf Tricks or even Specs Tricks, but you can Specs Trick a Rotom and do some really terrifying things with that Hydro Pump, and then there's Foul Play. Foul play means if you're going for more bulky, just a more stally kind of Rotom, you could even run a Rotom like this and kind of take out Volt Switch and maybe put in Foul Play, that way you're just running off of Hydro Pump. Or if you want like full stall Rotom, you can even go with a Protect. You're getting health back from the leftovers, you're throwing out just the Foul Play so they're damaging themselves, burning them down with a Will-O-Wisp, and then you're running Pain Split for little bits of health here and there. So that could be something that really devastates an opponent, but again, it's however you feel like running the Rotom for what your team needs. That that's what you use Rotom for. If your team has those weaknesses, you put it in there, and then you respond to the weaknesses. And then whatever Rotom's weak against, you just pack a Mega Venusaur or some kind of Grass-type Pokemon or something that resists Grass in general. Heavy Damage Flying-type Pokemons, it's easy to support Rotom, and it's very easy to get rewarding play out of it. As for the super effective hits and matchups, Pokemon DB right here, Water Electric. It means, yeah, you don't do too well against Grass-type Pokemon. So just bring a Pokemon that stops Grass or resists it really well, and then you have normal effective and super effective hits. So Water Electric isn't the best offensively, I would say, in this situation. That if you play Rotom for that super tankiness, you're just going to use Wash Rotom, and it's going to be a very frustrating Pokemon to have to deal with, or a very solid Pokemon to use for yourself. And you've probably experienced the Rotom Wash by now because it's incredibly common, and it's just a good Pokemon because of it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, that's how you use Rotom Wash. We have the other forms coming up later this week, and I hope you all have a nice day. Thank you for watching.